What's going on guys, it's Midget here bringing you another Walking Dead video. Today we are reviewing Season 3, Episode 6, which is called Hounded. Okay, this episode was, um, it was alright, you know. Um, it was a bit tense and, you know, you had some weird situations. And it starts off with Rick talks to unknown survivors through a phone. Um, I don't exactly know the phone and, um, they claim to be in a safe place, um, away from the walkers, away from everything. Um, just them, and li Rick later on finds out that it was in fact Amy, Jim, Jackie, and Laurie talking to him, which you know is pretty, pretty sad, I guess, for him. Is um, you know you wouldn't like, but he he took Laurie's death as um, he, he just he took it, and and then he rejoins the group um, with the baby, you know, and took, takes care of the baby and all that. Um, at Woodbury, um, Andrea volunteers for Century Study, um, and um, Andrea gets to put go on the wall, and she talks to a girl called Haley, and a walker appears, and Haley misfires her um, bow and arrow, and Andrea jumps over the wall, which is forbidden, and she stabs the walker in the head, and um, the governor wants to see her because you know that's not how people should act. And um, she ends up doing it with the governor, you know, it's not nice. And meanwhile, Merle, the guy called Gargiulio, Tim and Crowley are going to look for Michonne and trying to kill her at this moment. So um, while they're looking for her, Michonne ambushes them and kills um, Crowley and Tim. And, um, and Merle shoots her in the leg, so she's um, pretty pretty, you know, as good as dead, pretty much, and, um, and then later on, um, she escapes, and Mel tries to leave her, but God, Julio says he will not lie to the governor, and Mel kills him, and, um, he meets, along the way, he meets Glenn and Maggie, and, um, he goes, everything they've done in the past will be gone if they lead him to his brother, however, they don't, and he ends up getting Maggie hostage and Glenn, um, and I don't know what happens, I mean I do, but I don't want to say it in this episode, and they drive off, and Michonne basically at this moment thinks about everything, you know, hi she's hiding behind the car, so she saw that, she gets the supplies, all the supplies um, they need, and heads off to the prison, where Rick is still talking to the voices, you know, everybody's like this, Daryl, meanwhile, is, um, Axel died um, while trying to fix something, and um, Daryl thinks he knows where Carol the walker is, and you know he kind of builds up to killing her, but he opens the door and he turns out Carol's not dead at all. So that's pretty good, and Daryl just you know takes it out and everything, and um, back with Michonne taking the supplies, she um, she takes the supplies back to the group and Rick sees her so he goes but that's the end of the scene and basically this episode was I, I did this episode in really short timing I guess and I, it's not the biggest detailed episode because it's on like four minutes but I'm telling you it was not that much like I told you everything I could in minimal detail but enough so you could somehow see what will happen uh, i mean what happened in the episode so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this episode guys and i'm gonna give this episode a, a 8 out of 10 because there was warfare you know there was suspense there was everything so 8 out of 10 uh because it was absolutely a beast episode it wasn't the most greatest of episode but it was a beast episode and yeah so hopefully you enjoyed this episode guys if you did make sure you give it a like and this was midget and i'll see you guys later